flesh-ripping fangs, bone-crushing jaws, poison-filled stingers, skin-ripping claws. Survival in the animal kingdom often means a fight to the finish, filled with all-out attacks, amazing ambushes, and dances of death. To survive, animals have become pack hunters, lone wolves, and masters of deception. But above all, to survive has meant developing dangerous instincts, the exact kind you will see on this wild episode of Killer Instincts. Some animals simply take your breath away, majestic in so many ways. They move with grace and attack with style. On this episode of Killer Instincts, we meet three majestic animals, three animals whose beauty and ferocity have inspired legend and lore. We begin with the fox, a small predator whose famed cunning continues to serve it well. Next, we'll meet the lynx, one of the biggest of the small cats. This strikingly beautiful small cat with a big personality. And last, we'll visit the Harpy Eagle. Despite being a true living legend, this giant bird of prey is not well known outside of the vast kingdom it rules over. These three majestic animals have built a well-earned reputation throughout their native homelands, and each has earned our respect as killer survivalists. It's Magnificent Predators on the next Killer Instincts. As cunning as a... You're crazy like a... Beautiful as a... Only one animal stands for intelligence, beauty, and grace. The fox. It is an icon around the world, for there is something about this little hunter a crafty creature who relies on cunning to seize its prey. Many see the fox as a cute creature, despite its predatory nature. Its size may lower it on the food chain, but the fox has no problem surviving. In fact, it is thriving, for it is highly adaptable, able to make itself at home in nearly any environment, including some that may come as a surprise. The red fox is the most common of the species. It is also the largest, weighing up to 24 pounds or 10.8 kilograms. Its body can be as long as 34 inches or 86 centimeters, with a tail reaching lengths of 22 inches or 25.8 centimeters. On the opposite end of the fox size spectrum comes the tiny fennec fox. This diminutive species only grows to 3.3 pounds or 1.49 kilograms, and reaches lengths no greater than 16 inches or 40.6 centimeters, with a tail checking in at around 12 inches or 30.4 centimeters long. Because to live in so many different environments, these majestic hunters have had to make many different cunning adaptations and to refine their killer instincts. For starters, they are extremely vocal and have developed a sophisticated communication system. Combined, all the species communicate using up to 40 different kinds of sounds and are able to distinguish between individual foxes' voices in the same manner as humans can. Another cunning adaptation is the uncanny similarities fox share with cats. Fox are related to dogs, yet hunt like cats. The fox stalks and pounces on its prey. The fox is also a nocturnal hunter, like the cat, with eyesight equal to the cat, thanks to vertically split pupils. The fox even walks on its toes, giving it a cat-like paw print, an elegant cat-like walk. The fox is also a speedy animal, which comes in handy, given that it hunts so many small, quick types of prey. 
the Fox can reach speeds upward of 30 miles or 48.2 kilometers per hour. In order to increase their hunting odds, foxes have developed magnificent physical traits that are largely dependent upon where they live. In fact, many fox species are specialists who are visually identifiable by these adaptations. The tiny fennec fox has the ears of a much bigger animal. They are a full 6 inches or 15.2 centimeters long and give the little fox quite the comical appearance. But there is nothing funny about these ears, as they are key to surviving in harsh deserts. First, they serve to keep the cunning fox cool as they dissipate heat from the fox's body. Second, they are super sensitive hearing machines, allowing the fox to triangulate the position of prey hidden under the desert sands. This fox also has extra furry feet that protect its paws from the blistering temperatures of the sand and give it excellent traction when moving over and hunting on the shifting surface. Amazingly, the fennec fox does not need standing water to survive. It has learned to get its water from roots, leaves, eggs, fruit, prey, and condensation in its cave. Not to be outdone, the arctic fox is also a cunning survivor of extremes, starting with its coat. Before the winter season, the coat is a brownish-gray color, providing excellent camouflage in the brownish-gray rocky world of the tundra region. But come winter, the coat turns a beautiful pure white, taking camouflage to a new level. And the coat is extremely warm, so warm that it allows the arctic fox to survive in temperatures as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 50 degrees Celsius. When it comes to the ears, the arctic fox has evolved based on opposite needs than the fennec fox. The arctic fox has shorter ears to conserve heat. It also has a shorter muzzle as well for the same reason. It too has furry feet that help for walking on snow and ice the same way the phoenix help on sand. The arctic fox will also employ an ingenious method to find prey when the conditions get sparse. It simply follows polar bears, lets the polar bears do the work, and then moves in for the leftovers when the bear leaves. The bat-eared fox's approach is similar to the phoenix. It's all ears when it comes to hunting. The African savanna dwelling fox has 5 inch or 12.7 centimeter long ears that it uses to listen for insects. As for the red fox, a two year study by Yaroslav Cherveni found that when red foxes in the Czech Republic pounced in the air to surprise prey, a technique called mousing, they may actually be aligning their pounce to the Earth's magnetic field. Cherveni suggests that a red fox could use the Earth's magnetic field as a rangefinder to estimate the distance to its prey and make a more accurate pounce. This targeting system works because the Earth's magnetic field tilts downward in the northern hemisphere. As the fox creeps forward, it listens for the sound of a mouse. It's searching for that sweet spot where the angle of the sound hitting its ears matches the slope of the Earth's magnetic field. At that spot, the fox knows that it's a fixed distance away from its prey and can determine exactly how far to jump to land upon it. While this is still a hypothesis, if proven true, it would be another incredible killer instinct unique to the fox species. Given all that we've learned about the fox, it's quite obvious why the fox has earned a worldwide reputation for cunning and intelligence. The fox truly is a magnificent hunter whose majestic nature and will to live ensures its survival in the harshest ecosystems on the planet. Stealthy, solitary, and furry, a remarkably beautiful animal and a remarkably efficient hunter. As a night stalker, it is rarely seen, a quiet walker, and a blur when striking for the hunt. It is a member of the cat family and thrives in the coldest ecosystems. It is the lynx. 
There are four species of this specialized hunting cat. They are the Eurasian lynx, Canadian lynx, Spanish or Iberian lynx, and the bobcat. The biggest cat in the lynx family is the Eurasian lynx. A subspecies of this lynx, the Siberian lynx, can be up to 43 inches or 110 centimeters long, and it weighs in at over 84 pounds or 38 kilograms. Within the population of Eurasian lynx, however, sizes can fluctuate greatly. Bobcats are the shortest at no more than 41 inches or 105 centimeters long. Canadian lynx are the lightest with a maximum weight of around 37 pounds or 17 kilograms. Extremely distinctive looking, all four species of lynx share similar physical patterns. These include easily identified tufted ears that appear cropped and serve to frame the head of the cat, as well as facial hair that at times gives the lynx the look of having an actual beard, or at least some serious sideburns. Lynx also have short, stubby tails and slightly compact bodies. Fur patterns vary greatly. The Canadian lynx has thick light brown or gray fur with light charcoal colored spots. The length of the coat varies depending on the seasons. Year-round, it has black tips on its tail and unique triangle-shaped ears. The Eurasian lynx has light fur that is long and also thick and gets darker in the summer. This lynx has a large range and the colors vary accordingly. Lynx further north tend to have grayer coats with white underbellies, while more southern dwelling lynx tend to sport more red and brown colored coats with much heavier spotting patterns. The Iberian lynx has a lighter, short, and coarse coat that is highly decorated with spots. Its coat is made for surviving in the milder Mediterranean climate it calls home. The coat of a bobcat varies from individual to individual, as some have many spots, while others have no spots at all. But all adult bobcats have a distinct white patch in the middle of the back of both ears. All lynx share common hunting traits. Much of the hunting strategy is based around the fact that this is a quick cat, but not a fast cat. As such, lynx have developed their shadowy killer instincts to become extremely hard to spot. Lynx evolved to become ghosts of the forest, to get as close to prey as they can before launching an attack. The lynx does not chase prey, it is strictly an ambush predator, and a pure carnivore. The lynx is able to successfully ambush its prey due to a number of killer abilities and adaptations. For starters, the lynx is primarily a nocturnal hunter, hunting as it moves in the shadows of the night. It has excellent eyesight. It can even spot a mouse at over 250 feet or 76.2 meters away. Extremely quick reflexes. Sensitive whiskers that it uses for picking up scents, noises, and vibrations. And those distinctive tuft ears are functional hunting weapons as well and are widely believed to deliver excellent hearing capabilities to the lynx. In fact, like the fox, the lynx is able to sense prey moving under snow or foliage. The lynx is a master of patience as well. From stalking prey to sitting immobile for hours, hidden in wait, the lynx is a master of patient hunting. It will hide in burrows, rock crevices, behind vegetation, and even high up in trees as it is an excellent climber. When a lynx finally gets within striking distance, it will pounce and then subdue its prey in typical cat fashion by seizing the prey by the neck with its jaws, delivering a death bite. Many Canadian lynx have become specialized hunters of the snowshoe hare and rarely eat anything else. In doing so, its entire existence hinges on these hares and its population will rise and fall in relation to hare populations. Elsewhere, the larger Eurasian lynx prey upon an assortment of larger animals, including deer and reindeer. Wild pigs, rodents, squirrels, beavers, and birds such as ducks and grouse are also frequently hunted by lynx. They compete for food with bigger and stronger animals, such as mountain lions, bears, 
wolves, coyote, fox, badgers, marten, and wolverines, and are known to not easily back down from any of them. Lynx are actually known to fiercely protect themselves against all comers when cornered, in fact. This rarely includes, however, humans, as lynx tend to avoid humans at all costs, another smart adaptation that has proved key to their survival. These magnificent cats are wonders of the natural world, whose majestic beauty is only matched by their killer instincts. A brave and patient ambush predator, the lynx continues to thrive around the world. The fiercest predators often earn fame inspiring fear-inducing nicknames like King of the Jungle or Killer Whale. Such predators are known far and wide for their exploits, and rightfully so. Yet there is one truly majestic predator who checks all the boxes, except for global fame. Among its kind, it is the largest, most powerful, with features unlike any we have explored before. Despite its impressive resume, this regal-looking predator often flies below the radar, still relatively unknown outside of its native land. But we're shining the spotlight on this super bird to share its incredible story worldwide. Meet the Harpy Eagle. Nearly everything about this bird of prey is majestic. Only the Andean condor can beat it for size, but the harpy beats the condor when it comes to muscle and power. Females are much larger than males and can reach over 41 inches or 105 centimeters in height. The larger females can also be as heavy as 20 pounds or nine kilograms. By comparison, males normally reach no more than 12 pounds or 5.4 kilograms. The wingspan of this gigantic eagle can be over six and a half feet or two meters. And like its wingspan, the harpy eagle has a massive range. Mated harpies rule over massive territories together, territories that can be as large as 10,000 acres. They build massive nests high above the canopy floor, as high up as 140 feet or 43 meters in the middle of these territories. These nests are built atop trees with widely spaced branches. This creates clear flight paths for the huge eagles to use for takeoffs and landings. This also gives them a perfect perch to peer out over their kingdom from. And once in flight, this eagle does not waste time and energy soaring high above the canopy. Instead, it flies low above the tree line and even at times below it. This is part strategy and part anatomy, as the wings of the harpy are broad and short and have a long tail that acts as a rudder in flight. These features allow the harpy to navigate through dense vegetation, hop from tree to tree, dive down into trees, and then go straight back up again with relative ease. The harpy eagle is also capable of moving quickly in flight, it can even reach top speeds of around 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. Proficiency in flight comes naturally to the harpy with the aid of its excellent eyesight. The harpy truly has eagle eyes and can spot a one inch or two centimeter object from nearly 220 yards or 200 meters away. To further hone its tracking ability, the harpy shares a unique physical trait with the owl it has a facial disc. This facial disc is outlined by raised feathers that form a circle around the face of the eagle. This disc can be raised and lowered, and when raised, it heightens the harpy's hearing and ability to pinpoint prey by sound. The disc does this by channeling sounds more directly into the harpy's ears. The harpy eagle needs its great eyesight and special hearing because it is a diurnal predator meaning it hunts during the day. Even then, given its ability to hop and fly nearly straight up and down, 
the harpy relies on these heightened senses when hunting underneath the dense tropical canopies, which can be dark even in the middle of the day. And this majestic bird is a mighty hunter. The harpy eagle boasts humongous curved back talons that can grow to be larger than a grizzly bear's. These extremely large talons reach around 5 inches or 13 centimeters long. More than just large, these talons are extremely powerful. So powerful, they can crush the bones of prey and kill them on impact. In fact, the grip of the harpy eagle's talons is capable of generating several hundred pounds or over 50 kilograms of pressure. This is literally enough to crush the skull of its prey. And that prey includes monkeys, sloths, snakes, iguanas, opossums, and even floor-dwelling animals such as deer and porcupine. To capture these prey, the harpy eagle will sit and wait, and wait, and wait, silently, as it rarely vocalizes. A harpy on the hunt can stay still in a tree for as long as 23 hours, and then it strikes. Once it seizes its prey, the harpy will quickly fly to its nest. If the prey is too large for the harpy to make it back to its nest, it will fly to a nearby tree and feed. It will eat enough to make carrying the carcass back to the nest an easier task. When it's ready to go back out on the hunt, this majestic predator utilizes all the killer instincts at its disposal to ensure success. A rare and beautiful bird of prey, it is easy to see why the harpy eagle has inspired legends and lore wherever it calls home. In exploring the animal kingdom's most majestic predators, we've examined the crafty fox, a true survivor who thrives with legendary wits and physical adaptations, the little cat who thinks it's big, the ghost of the forest, the lynx, and the legendary harpy eagle, a predator with no equal in the skies. Their unique survival strategies have made them masters of their ecosystems and superb hunters who dominate their prey and their competitors with death-dealing technique. We hope you enjoyed witnessing their daily battles for survival and the killer instincts they've developed for ambushing and devouring prey. Our planet is brimming with life and it is often a fight to the finish, where only the most cunning and lethal succeed. Join us as we explore the animal kingdom's deadliest predators on the next Killer Instincts.